Welcome to another podcast episode of Coffee or Tea. First, let's find Habibi. Disclaimer, I am not here to regulate your religious beliefs or practices. Just here as a friend. Only you are responsible for the results of the actions you have taken in your life. Last week, we covered ways to optimize your match profile. Today, we are going to go a little deeper than that. The decision to date, to get married, weighs heavily on how mature and ready we are to be a life partner. This is serious. Just because you are tired of going alone to the movies or picking food from the drive-thru, in short, loneliness shouldn't be the only motivation to go from single to married. Let's define who we are, what we need, and what we want. To find out who you are, take a note of your likes and dislikes and what moves the needle from one side to the other. Is it fear of the unknown driving you to stay in your comfort zone? Bad experience from your own past that you don't want resurfacing again? Or is it the game of reality versus expectation that's keeping you from accepting your true reflection? Whatever it may be, accept the good and honestly recognize areas of improvement. Just like posting a no makeup selfie, but this time actually with no makeup and the magic would be your smile. Lesson is, love yourself first. If you need help, don't listen to the Justin Bieber song, Love Yourself. Now, let's talk about what we need and want in a relationship. There's a fine line between the two. To separate them out, review your deal breakers and transform them into values that are top priority for you. If you find similarity between your values in the person you're dating, that should define the absolute foundation of needs of the relationship you're building. No matter how many differences there may be in personality, the foundation of values should help both of you sail toward the sunset like the truly unsinkable Titanic with you and your partner being Jack and Rose who lived happily ever after. Treat wants as preferences that can change with time. The iPhone 10 is hot right now and you might want it, but a few months down the line, you might not want it anymore or found a value that weighed more positively than this temporary want. 
in dating. It could be you want a girl who wears the hijab. You mean the headscarf? Yeah, that's what it's called. That's pretty normal in our community to want a girl who wears the scarf or hijab. So you found a match on an app or matrimonial website. You exchanged messages and got to know that both of you share similar values, but she doesn't wear hijab and is not ready to take that move anytime soon. This is the dilemma that defines the separation of needs versus wants. You see the needs in match, but not wants. It's now up to you and only you to see the value in the needs and let go of the wants. If you continue to proceed with the match, make sure you vow to yourself not to ever force your potential or current match into doing anything they are not ready to do. That is not right. You cannot marry someone in hopes of changing them to make them who you want them to be. That is one of the major reasons for broken relationships and marriages in our society today. If you're not willing to let go of your wants, then ask yourself why, and then disconnect from the person until you have found the answer. Remember, we are all at different stages of our life. Invest in someone who is willing to grow to be a better person instead of rejecting them for not being there already when you yourself might be far from it as well. An example of this could be Kanye West dating to marry Hillary Clinton, but she's not as stylish as him. No political affiliation expressed here. Well, I hope you learned something from today's episode. Until next week, love everyone you meet unconditionally. This is Nadog signing off.